to Business Matchmaker TV. Um, I welcome you today. I'm the host, Pyle Walker, and I've got a fascinating guest today. So as you'll have seen the series evolving, I really enjoy talking to inspiring entrepreneurs who lead through values. And when you start sort of digging in deeper to find out what what makes people thrive, what, what why do they do what they do? It's really fascinating. So it gives me my great pleasure to introduce today Joe Soley from Bizology. Welcome, Joe. Hi, hi. How are you? Thanks for inviting I'm me good, on. Thank you. Brilliant. No, I'm so pleased you could come on. I know you've got a very busy schedule. So thank you. Thank you for the time today. So, Joe, a little bit about yourself. Joe is a business coach and a marketing coach. Uh, she's ha- passionate about helping entrepreneurs build their business and reach the next level of success. The interesting thing for me is Jo infuses the power of numerology in her work with her clients. And this was all after embarking on her own journey with numerology. So, Jo, would you like to tell us a little bit more about that, please? Because I'm intrigued. Yes, no, definitely. So I'm a business coach and marketing coach with 25 years experience in business, marketing, sales and development. Um, But there's a lot of marketing coaches out there, aren't there? And you know what they say, get big, get niche or get out. And I... um, (laughs) I wasn't looking for a modality to niche because I was in quite a niche area anyway. I was working with heart-centered female entrepreneurs, so well-being and nutrition. Um, But three years ago, I went to an event and the guest speaker, Richard Abbott of the Hermitage Development Centre, his opening words were, forget International Women's Day, it's International Women's Millennium. Okay, because we're in the energy of the two. So when we were born, we were born into the 19, which is 10, which is one. And I'm guessing that most people listening to this podcast are more than 20 years old. So they would be born into the 19, which is 10, which is one. So you remember when we grew up, there was like four channels on the TV. And and Arthur and Thatcher and Reagan and... It was masculine, no judgment. Men led still, women followed, you know, and it was there was quite a segregation. It was very one in energy. It was quite masculine, high quick start. We were result led. We just kind of got on with it. Now we're in the energy of the two. We're in the 2000s. We're 20 years in, but we're really in. Okay, so we're 20 years in to the 2000s. So the two is the divine feminine. The two is sacred knowledge. Two, the Dalai Lama said the Western woman is going to save the world. Okay. So when we were born into this one, this masculine, this base chakra, this fire energy, now we're in the two, which is water. It's fluidity. It's about um, ups and downs and choice. And we are in a very different world from when we were born in the 70s, okay? So this is a big ask to expect you to understand and, and, you know, take on this and comprehend just because the number of the year has changed um, and the decades has changed and the centuries changed that we've changed, but we are. So look at what's going on now. We've got more and more um, attention to male mental health. We've got more and more choice when it comes to our um, sexuality. We've got more and more and more women running their businesses. And men used to lead and women followed, no judgment. And now it's balancing it out. And eventually women will lead and men will follow. Hence the Dalai Lama said the Western woman is going to save the world. Now, not talking feminism I'm talking numeric energies with the energy of the number two so that's what I learned that night and it's huge because the energy of the time we're in the month we're in the day we're in the year we're in can really play out in our businesses there's better times and easier times to do things The sky has fallen in, okay? 2020 is a master number. Zero, move it out of the way. You've got 22. 
22 is a huge deal. It's a master number energy. It's the architect of change. So the 22 energy is you had to be organized. You had to have your ducks in a row. You had to be have structure to cope with it. And the world wasn't organized. The world didn't have structure. We were too much. We were wanting too much. We were too greedy. We were too fast. So everything's fallen down, okay, in order to rebuild, to move forward, because we're in the energy of the 22. So there's better years and easier years to do things. I'm currently in a three year personally. So this is a great year for me to communicate. So it's a great year for me to do podcasts with people yeah. like yourself. You are in a six year. So this is a great year for you to really serve your tribe, really nurture your audience, really um, lead your business through your values. What you're doing, podcasts about values. There will be some focus on your home this year because six is about love and relationships. And you'll have to make sure that you don't buy it off more than you can chew in terms of responsibility this year. And there might be some home improvements, you know, and, and things going on with your relationships. But because we know that, we can check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. We can, because growth isn't like this. There's no, growth, absolutely. consolidation, yeah. growth, consolidation. And our numeric energies and the nine year cycle shows you when it's growth, when it's consolidation, when it's growth, and when it's consolidation. Wow. wow. <laughs> so do you know what was really evident and it's really wonderful to hear you speak is is the passion that that you have when you're talking about people. Now, we've only had we've had a, a couple of conversations before this podcast and we had 5 minutes obviously before we started recording um and you've summed up quite a lot there for me, I believe. Um and yes, one one of the things that I have a habit of doing is steamrolling ahead and I've still got to make sure that the family balance is correct. And that's really important to me. Uh, and it's key, actually, to, to keep going. For me, yeah. it is keeping the family going as well. Well, more so in this year, because you're a five, Payal. So five yeah. is the adventurer. It's about change. It's about freedom. It's about expansion. So you need to go, 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 go but you're not the number next to you. So you're not a six, you're a five, but you're in a six year. So even though you're a five and your destiny is about adventure and freedom and growth and change, you're in a six year. So when we can understand that there might be a bit of conflict there and how can we manage it, that's gold. Yeah. Wow. wow. And, and yeah. business coaches, what happens, you know, they will teach a modality, they'll teach you, they'll teach you to build your business based on their experience on how they built their business. But they're building their business in alignment with their numeric energies. We need to build our businesses in alignment with our numeric energies. Because I'm a one, which is innovation, leadership, you know, jump over a mountain then look behind me. We're quite masculine, I'm 47, look 22 and sound 12, you know, but um, I have to do it in alignment with my energies and you have to do it in alignment with your energies. So that's why my coaching is different because I look at the person's numbers and then from that place we can help them build their business. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's it's just so fascinating. I think I think we could talk for a very long time about this and I'm sure that the people watching this and uh, listening on the podcast as well are going to find it fascinating. So, so Joe. You've, you said you're, you've been a business and a marketing coach for 25 years. Uh, when did numerology start playing a part in your life? When did you sure. have that mindset change where it, it became a focus? Thank, yeah, so um, I've always been fascinated. And I think where there's uh, interest, there's ability, okay? So I've always been fascinated by it because it is fascinating. But when I met my mentor three years ago on International Women's Day and he said, yeah. you know, <laughs> the International Women's Day, it's International Women's Millennium, then that evening he was also talking about life path numbers. Now, behind me I've got my numbers, 
I'm a one, which is all about innovation, leadership and originality. And I wasn't being a one. I was being um, the opposite of one, really, which is one of my numbers, which is a nine. So I was being loving and caring and kind. I didn't have very strong boundaries. I was over giving. And how was life working out? Not very well. So since I've aligned to my numbers, because we are the negative of our numbers, since I've aligned to my one energy and I seeded my business in one year, then life is working out. Life is moving on. So um, I bought numerology into my business about two and a half years ago i burst bizology um about 18 months ago properly yes january 2019 and i'm it's in its kind of second year now so i what i tend to do with my clients is work with them on their numbers and then because they can see how powerful it is then teach them the marketing, but in alignment with their numbers. So it is really fascinating because your whole journey and your business journey, your personal growth has all led you to this path today. Yeah, no, definitely. Your, your, your marketing skills, your coaching skills, and now you can, you can bring this wonderful new level of coaching I haven't seen it before if I'm being honest with you you know we all as business leaders we, we meet a lot of business coaches mentors and what is fascinating and wonderful is that everybody does something different so even if they say oh I'm a coach and you say oh fantastic you know what kind of coach they will say it's a wellness coach or it's a business yeah. coach or there's so many different types but people build off their own journey and off their own knowledge. And I, I just find this really fascinating. So hen hence, you know, it, it was a, a no brainer for me to ask you to be on this podcast because I do want people to know and learn about you. I think your skills are, are, are brilliant. Ah, thank you. I think, I, I mean, I have um, spoken a lot in people's groups and I've got my own group but it's I'm passionate about helping people understand their numbers because here's the thing life isn't meant to be easy we make it more difficult we life is a school school has a playground life is not a playground we're here to learn we're here to learn what we didn't learn in the previous life otherwise we wouldn't be here if we'd finished learning so we can see what we're here to learn in our numeric energies so my lesson is all about independence okay so um you know i i'm 47 never married no children and i can have and want a loving relationship, but I don't need one. Some numbers, no judgment, need a loving relationship in order to move forward. A life path one doesn't. So what's, uh, so my, my client said to me the other day, numerology cuts through years of therapy because you can say, oh, wow. oh right, that is why I'm like this. This is what I'm meant to be doing in my business. So for a life path five, one of the, because I always say you are the negative of your numbers, because once we stop doing the negatives, the positives can flow. Okay. Yeah. So for a life path five, one of the problems will be you want next, 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 next. But then what about all of the other beautiful things that you need to ground, that you need to promote, that you need to sell? So my job would be to say, yes, let's think of next, 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 but don't forget promote what you've already got okay and then a five can go around the world and back before it gets out of bed in the morning so a five can suffer from burnout so it's like how are you looking after you and then a five energy shouldn't say yes to everything that they're offered it's mm -hmm. oh can i get back to you because the less you've got in your diary the more you can like tennis racket it back and be reactive not proactive you know, the more That's out there, the more almost like <laughs> it is almost like you've jumped out of the screen and you've read my mind. It, it's I, I find it fascinating. And I must tell all the listeners, I promise we haven't been over this beforehand. Oh, but no. what Joe is saying 
it's, it's true. It, it is very true. And I think it's a very powerful position to be in when you can say no. And yeah. also when you can say yes, because if you're saying no to something, you are potentially then opening up to say yes to the right yes. thing. And you've yeah. got more headspace and you're in a better place to be doing that. So, yeah, no, I, I think it's fascinating. I could actually listen to you all day. So mm -hmm. so where, where does it take you? Is there a, a set path that the numbers give you or does it evolve naturally? So there's we start with your life path number because you can't change your date of birth, but you can change your name. And when you change your name, you change your life because numbers are letters and numbers, you see. A is one, B is two, C is three, etc. So there's seven and a half billion people in the world who are not just going to go, all right, we've got 11 numbers. That's like saying that you're um, Libran, are you? A Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio, sorry. And I'm Aries. OK, so you're born on the 29th, which is 11. So your approach to your five needs to be five is the adventurer. Eleven is the spiritual teacher. So your approach needs to be very illuminating, very inspirational. Um, it's a master number. You've got the ability to go beyond. So. London is an 11 energy, you know, it's got that energy, it's got that voltage. Ibiza is 11 energy, it's a magical portal. Um, Waitrose is an uh, 11 energy, so is France, you know, it's elite. So it's all about how can you illuminate, how can you inspire, how can you do things like this in your events at a level, you know, at an elite level to move things on. So. We have ultimate goals, we have links, we have power numbers, we have expressions, we have frequencies, missing, soul urge, etc. So that's what I do. I hope, help you look at everything. But I wrote to my um, community this week and said, why bizology is so much more than numerology? Because it's blending the two. So it's using it in business. But of course, we need to look at us first, because if we're not working, our business won't work. Absolutely. I hear this quite a lot actually within, as you talked about the events that 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 I host. And if we're not a hundred percent, there's no way your business will be a hundred percent. Um and I know from our previous conversation we were talking about how the numbers almost align with our values as well. Um yeah, definitely. So yes, we are born with them. We're born our date of birth is given. Yes, we can change our name, but we can't change our date of birth um and the values work alongside that and the values our values personal values always transpire into business of course yeah, yeah definitely because the, the energies of one is like innovation and leadership and um but it's also about ambition and um independence and kind of being the first out the gates You've been unique, and they are really that's my values, really. Yeah, yeah. It, so, and then the way I do it is because I'm born on the fourth structure, control, routine, working hard, put your head down, get on with it. So, if you were to say, What, if, what are your values, Joe? It is really in leadership, innovation, authenticity, ambition, working hard creating something, sustainable success, um, leaving something, leaving a legacy. And they're yeah. all part of my numbers. It, it's fascinating. Yeah. It's not It's not by chance. It's not by coincidence. Because a lot of what you said, we haven't had the conversation. And I know I'm, I'm resonating with a lot of what you've said in terms of my life um, and my numbers to me. And... I think that what's really interesting is, so as things evolve, so we've talked about um, just before before we came on was about how lockdown, so at the minute this is being recorded in lockdown, um, how lockdown is having an effect on us. But for both of us, it's been a positive change yeah. because yeah. we've realised how much we run around, how much we do, um, 
And just by making the small tweaks, although, okay, they were initially forced on us, it's been a real positive change. Definitely, definitely. There's no mistake. Everything happens for a reason. And, yeah. you know, lockdowns happened because we're in this master number energy. But in 1966, it was a 22 year. England won the World Cup. <laughs> right. In 2020, we've had a global pandemic. And the reason why is too, in the negative, is sensitive and panic and lack and fear. And zero is God, source, divine, whatever you call it. And that amplifies the two. And then you've got another two, and then another zero, which is amplified. And 22 in the tarot is judgment, which is about certainty or uncertainty. So we're going through uncertain times so i put your seatbelt on really to the rest of the year because look what's happened already Meghan Markle mm -hmm. with the royal family Trump was he going to get impeached then he assassinated somebody then we had floods fires in Oz a pandemic we've had everything happen with regards to like Black Lives Matter you know it's more sensitivity sensitivity and we're only in well June so we've got more <laughs> to come Yes, but I hope more positive to come. That yeah, we can well, come out positive. of this in a kinder world, a better world, and one where we do care more about each other. And it is about self care as well. Definitely, definitely. But I do see more surprises around the corner energetically because of the time we're in it's the problem's not the problem though the reaction to the problem is the problem so like you and I have reframed this time because we're not running around we're not spending money on coffees we're not spending hours on trains or driving we are managing to turn that time into a um, income producing activity and a return on investment. So whatever happens, it's always the reaction. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Joe, I, I can't believe <laughs> we've nearly come to the end of this already. Really? Yes, oh, it's wow. absolutely flown by. Um, I, th I mean, what I would say to all listeners and viewers, if you are interested at all, um, you'll find all of Joe's details on the graphic for the podcast and the video. Um, JoeSoley.com. Absolutely have a look at her website. And I just think it's it, it it takes it to a new level for me for for everything that you've said, all of our previous conversations of, of how it works. Um and it, it, it makes it real as well. It's not yeah. something that, you know, that I don't mean this in any sort of disrespect. It's not something that it's all made up. There is a real science and an art to what you're doing. Um, and I've said I've never met anybody doing this before. Um, I just think it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Because it's easy to think it's woo, but numbers are magic their life, their energy, their cosmic, their deep, their inherent, their fundamental form. Yeah. Nothing happens in life without numbers. And numbers speak in their language is numerology. And numerology is an ancient and uh, old ancient science. It's part maths, but part intuition. And it's the quality of the numbers which tell the story. No, I, I find it fascinating. I certainly will be having a conversation with you after this as well. So thank you so much, Joe, for appearing on Business Matchmaker TV today. And uh, I look forward to hearing, well, seeing the year evolve in a positive way. I know you said there's more surprises around the corner, so we will wait for those. But thank you so much for appearing as a guest today. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.